I did a video on my 8th grade science project and updated it by modulating a laser. And what's involved is you have a 4 to 8 ohm output, transformer output, in between the battery supply. And then you just turn up the volume for the best modulation. Since then I've had several questions about how to build a receiver. And of course in the original video I used my Heathkit laser receiver. But I've come up with a suitable and cheap substitute that works quite well. I was wandering through Radio Shack the other day looking at the parts that they had on stock and I came across this solar cell and I got to thinking about that and I go I bet that will work. So I went ahead and got this solar cell and on the back it gives you instructions on how to hook it up but please be very careful because it is quite fragile and the reason why mine broke was I used too heavy of a wire when I soldered it on. However to my surprise that small piece that has the wires attached to it works just fine. Here's the setup and the laser part is the same. We got the laser and that is plugged into the radio in the background and here's a closer look at the back of the laser. You can see the two aluminum strips that are insulated from each other and in between the laser and the power supply. What's new is I'm going to use that small broken piece of the solar cell and this ordinary amplifier which I also got from Radio Shack. Here's the front and here's the back. Now this has two inputs. It has an auxiliary and a mic input and I found that it works much better if I use the microphone input. Okay here's the laser and I've got the clothes pin on it so it is on and that little bit of hum is from the fluorescent lights so let me turn on the radio here these to see if it makes any difference.
Well, excellent. It did not matter which way the solar cell was hooked up to the amplifier. And it sounds pretty good, too. <laughs> 